Yes, I'm back again complaining about an HP product. That's because HP is a billion dollar company that makes some really questionable decisions sometimes. I can't remember how much this thing cost when it first came out in 2015, but here we are in 2022, the price has not decreased and very little has changed about this application. This is by far the worst educational application I've ever purchased. That is not to say that the application itself is bad. It's not bad, but for $20, is not worth $20 okay so I'm going to compare this application right here to two other applications for Android the first one is craft 89 I already made a video about this one I also made a video about that the second one which is for HP calculators uh, mainly legacy calculators like the 50g 49g plus etc etc okay so let's talk about the prime the reason why I don't like it <laughs> for the price so this is you know no matter how big your phone is the application is never going to take up the entire screen so that is that, that really sucks i remember when it first came out in 2015 you know i automatically disliked that feature and uh fast forward 2022 what do you know it's still the same even if you have a tablet obviously it's gonna look bigger on the tablet but there's going to be a lot of unused real estate so this is a galaxy uh, z Flip three, this is just ridiculous. Look at uh, how much waste space I have here. On the other hand, if I uh, go to, let's see, graph 89. Look, so this is just uh, like day and night, okay? Let's go back to the Prime app once again. So that is uh, the thing I dislike the most about this calculator. And uh, they also have a, uh, a free version for this app which is very very nice the only difference between the pro version which is this one right here and the free and the free version is that uh, you can write uh, programs on the uh, pro version you can also uh, 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 connect that to a wireless device so if you don't write programs on your calculator or you don't transfer data uh, between calculators then uh, you don't really need the pro version the free version is going to be enough for you you know the pro version is really nice because it lets you uh, connect wirelessly to you know uh, to the HP connectivity key and uh, you can easily transfer data between uh, 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 calculators you know so that is uh, really handy or you can back up your stuff onto the, to your computer or restore uh, the files from your computer so that is really really nice but the advantages of uh, the pro stops right there because I don't really write programs on my calculator but this is what you get for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is a lot of money for an application. And uh, the eighty nine right here is about five dollars. So you get a lot more with this one. Not only you get a, a you know an app an app that is uh that performs really well on smartphones. It also has uh, the ability to have ten different calculators from text instrument. Not only that, you can also have more than one instance of the same calculators or of the same calculator. Let's say right here, I'm using the 89. This is the 89 titanium. If I wanted to, I can have uh, more than one 89 titanium on this. I can have 20 different 89 titanium on this if I wanted to. Okay. So the dislike, that's the, number, the first dislike. The way the calculator looks on, on, on cell phones, it just, it just sucks. Okay. If I put in landscape, that's even more ridiculous. Okay, and it's gonna be like this on pretty much any device. It's never going to take uh, to take the entire screen. So second dislike, that's uh, really important and that is really irritating. That's actually uh, the way the keys work or the buttons, whatever you wanna call them. So this is a calculator and this does not uh, allow uh, like a uh, multi-touch. To show you what I mean is uh, if I press, I, I cannot, you know tap faster here you know he hardly responds you know sometimes it does not even register my input that's that is because this does not support multi-touch so if i hold this and uh, i press nine nothing happens see nothing is happening here and uh also something that i want to mention before i forget the vibration sometimes does not work if you use the app, let's say you, you are, I'm using the app right now and I close it to go do something else and maybe I come back five, three minutes after, 
three minutes uh, later, then uh, the vibration is not going to be working. Like right now, it's not working right now. But if I close the app and reopen it, it's going to start working again. So this is a $20 app for you. And it is, you know, it's just uh, sucks that uh, it has this uh, minor inconvenience. So that is that. So the multi-touch, that is a really deal breaker. You know, it's not working. And uh, to show you that it works on the real calculator, I'm going to do the same thing. So I was hold, press, holding 7. And if I press 9, it's going to register 9. Let me decrease the brightness here so you can see better. better. Okay. So as you can see, I'm holding 7. If I press 9, it's going to register my input. And uh, this is the Power application right here. And if I do the same thing here, press 7, press 9, then it's going to keep displaying 7. Okay. And the reason why this seems a little slow, that's because I have the calculator uh, adjusted to be slow. I can increase the speed. So this, there is not a single um, application, calculator application online that beats this application right here. This came out in 2012 and it works like uh, it was made for this phone. So now if, let me try that again, seven. So as you can see, it is much faster. So this supports uh, multi-touch. And you might be wonder, wondering, uh, so since you are holding seven and press nine, why is it not displaying seven? That's because that's just the way this calculator works. I have the real one right here which uh, is hardly uh, legible at night. So if I press seven and nine, as you can see, it's gonna keep displaying seven. So that's just the way this calculator works. So this is pretty much one-to-one, -one, okay? So yeah, so that is that. And I'm also going to compare this uh, to uh, an HP Prime, not an HP Prime, uh, HP 49G Plus or 50G, whatever you wanna call them. So this, what do you know? This one is actually free. <laughs> So if you are uh, an HP fan, then there is no reason why you shouldn't have this. But sadly, it is only available for Android though. If you have an iPhone, then you are out of luck. So let's go to, uh, to the 50G one, okay? So now, so even this one, uh, this one uh, is a multi-touch. So if I press seven, and it's gonna spend nine, just like it does on the real prime, as you can see, and you can, Tap faster without missing any uh, key, so that is really nice. So that is something the twenty dollars app does not have. So that is, that really sucks. And this one also has uh, multiple calculators. As you can see, if I press no, you have all these calculators to choose from. Some of them are dupl duplicates. You know the difference between some of these are just you know the way they look uh, on the on the screen. That's that, that's about it. But still, you have a large amount of calculators that you can choose from, and uh, it's for free. And uh, you can program on these calculators you can uh, save the state of the calculator it's not gonna lose anything you can come back month later month two three months after and uh, you're still gonna have all your stuff intact okay so that is uh really nice to have all right so next for twenty dollars i think they could have made uh, the ease of uh or yeah you know the use of uh the qrd that comes with the uh, you know uh, the, uh, the keyboard that comes with uh, the cell phone uh, easier to use on the prime but you know you would think that that's something they would think about but really you know yeah so there really isn't any option for that you can copy stuff but it would be nice if they have something like uh, I'm gonna show you right now if they have something similar to this one right here uh, let's see so if I go to show keyboard here, as you can see, I can just uh, start typing my stuff here. So this app is only five dollars, and uh, the HP cannot do that. And also something I want to mention before I forget, uh, this is you know that's probably just me being nitpicking, but if you press, uh, if you turn the calculator off, the app is gonna close. So that is a really nice feature. But if you do it on the HP Prime, nothing happens. You know, that's just me being, you know, picky, but you know, the app is $20. Let's not forget about that. $20 is not cheap for an application. So that is something to definitely consider. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that's about it. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, the app is not bad. It's a great app. The HP Prime calculator is the most, uh, I, will, I wouldn't say the most powerful because that is really subjective, but it is the fastest calculator on the market. And it is a really great calculator. And the app is really good, but it's not worth $20, not in my opinion. Okay, if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section.